Hey, what's up guys? I'm Chris with Heavy Heads Records in downtown Springfield, Missouri, 215 West Olive, heavyheadsrecords.com. And uh, today this video, uh, or in this video, I'm gonna go over some stuff um, that we just put on our website. Um, we're gonna go over some country stuff. Also, I wanna showcase the condition that we keep them in. Um, I think that's important. When you buy used from Heavy Heads, it's probably a different experience uh, than you might get elsewhere. So let's go through, uh, let's start with some Waylon Jennings. Check it out. We've got a couple of these on the site right now. And uh, let's check condition. Look at that. That's what we're talking about when you order from us. A little piece of dust there. We say VG plus or better on the website. Um, on Discogs, uh, I say graded conservatively for quality assurance. And essentially what that means is that they're going to look like that. Um, and buckle in too, this, uh, I don't intend for these videos to be short. So this is Music Man, Waylon Jennings. Great copy there, no surface marks. It's supposed to be VG plus or better. I would uh, put this one at near mint on the vinyl. And covers nice and glossy. Good spine, nice back cover. So there you go. If you order Waylon Jennings, Music Man, that's the shape it's gonna be in. <laughs> How about this one? Boxcar Willie. So local, uh, if you're from Springfield, um, you're going to know about Boxcar Willie. Branson is just south of us. Um, Boxcar Willie used to have his own studio, or I mean, I'm sorry, his own uh, theater in Branson. Probably had a studio there too. And this one again is just near mint, not a surface mark on it. And actually, I'm not sure in what capacity, but uh, I'm pretty sure that Boxcar Willie, uh, I know he, he worked with uh, Lou Whitney in some capacity, and Lou Whitney did all kinds of things in this area, uh, owned a studio downtown for a long time called The Studio. Uh, I interned there. Big history there. Maybe we'll go into that at some other time, but uh, yeah. Boxcar Willie used to work with Lou Whitney and I'm looking for the looking on the label to see if I can see any kind of trace of Lou on there I see mention of column one on here which column one studios uh, was a big studio around here before Lou opened the studio. And I want to say that, that Lou bought that studio out again, I need to do more research and that's, that's a whole other video, but, uh, yeah, boxcar Willie. Here's one, Charlie Daniels, decade of hits. Boom. Let's open that one up. Side one. Really nice. Side two. Again, this video might get redundant because they're all gonna look like that. But uh, this album for me, this is what actually made me kind of start liking country music. Um, Charlie Daniels, he, uh, on this album, of course, it's a greatest hit, so compilation. Um, Devil Went Down to Georgia, of course, that's a classic. Uh, but actually, Long Haired Country Boy is the one that got me. 
I was like, I cannot, can't hate on this guy. We got too much in common. So, uh, how about this? Saddle Tramp, another Charlie Daniels. And uh, this one's got none of those songs on it, but a lot more. The track list is going to be on the listing on the website, so check that out. And here's another one real quick. Ooh. How about an insert? That one's got an insert if you want it. And I will just leave that in. Also, it's got a cool picture sleeve. And on these online, like I said, quality is my biggest uh, concern. Um, if it's got the picture sleeve in it, uh, that's going to be included. Uh, typically, we try to give you the best copy that we have of, of this record or whatever record you get online in the best absolute shape we have. So keeping in mind that it will not be under VG plus condition when you get the record. Now, Discogs might be different. There are some records I feel that are worth listing on Discogs if they're rare enough. Uh, it might be worth listing in VG condition, but these records, um, if I'm gonna get good money for them, they need to be in really, really, really good shape. Speaking of that, we do get money, good money for our stuff, but we also do offer coupons. So uh, if you check out our website in the description, you want to get on there. We've got a form on, I think, every page. Uh, you can enter your email um, and you can get the, the same coupons we send out. A lot of times I'll do, uh, it's really handy if you're local. It's, it's still handy if you're not. A lot of times I'll do... Um, you know, 25% off of CDs down at our uh, downtown location. Uh, I'll do, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15% off on certain LPs. I might do a dollar amount off uh, on LPs. So uh, join that email list. It's worth it. And I don't spam you. I don't send anything out there um, unless it's of value to both you and I. So uh, I just don't spam. So anyway, and also... <clears throat> while we're looking through these records i thought i'd go through some of our country back stock just to kind of show you some other uh, new stuff you might find on the site sturgill simpson uh, made of modern sounds and country music i always recommend this record nick shoulders um people are talking about nick right now he's kind of an underground guy right now um gaining a lot of steam He's from, I believe, Fayetteville, Arkansas, right below us here. And uh, he's played up here a few times at the Outland Ballroom. This guy, he's blowing up. Um, in fact, Home on the Rage, I would, would argue, maybe you're different, but uh, I would argue that people like OK Crawdad more. Um, but this is the only one anybody can get now, and I've only got a couple of these. Um, so, yeah. Check out Nick's shoulders. See what you think. Um, Coulter Wall. Saw him live at the Galois. We gave some tickets away. Excellent. Uh, excellent country here. Um, pretty folky stuff. And this is a really cool concept album. So check, uh, check out Coulter Wall. Turnpike Troubadours. Another album we have in stock currently check that out. I think we've got another one by them as well. Paul Cawthon. Paul Cawthon is uh, just, he, he's taking alt country in a different direction. Um, I, I don't even know what he's, do, what he's doing. Do you know what you're doing, Paul? Uh, he's going to be, just saw today, he's going to be at Southbound, I think, here in Springfield um, in November for a makeup show. Uh, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, please. This one's on, uh, I can't say the word. It's on white vinyl. Um, great record. I recommend it. And let's do two more. Tyler Childers. 
uh, live on Red Barn Radio 1 and 2, and then also Purgatory. Do not have Country Squire right now. I apologize. That's one I try to have in, but haven't been able to get it for a while. Um, I did, however, put both of these, uh, make a, a vinyl deal for both of these, and we sold them to our email subscribers very cheaply. So, again, if you want to add yourself to that email list, um, I think we went, I want to say $15.99 or $16.99 on these. If you're local, uh, there's no shipping. If you order more on our site, uh, shipping is free, over 50 bucks. And um, yeah, great deals. So, you know, get a vinyl deal, grab a couple other used records while you're there, grab another new record, and uh, save a little money. We all know that this is not a cheap habit, right? I said habit, I meant hobby. <laughs> little, little bit of both maybe, right? So, let me grab some more uh, country vinyl, and let's go through them all. <clears throat> Check it out. We got that many more to go through. We're sitting at about 15 minutes on my screen, so like I said, buckle in, take a break, whatever you got to do. Uh, appreciate you hanging with me if you're still here. Let's keep going. I got it. I'm going to do a giveaway too uh, in this video, I've decided. So look out for that. Amy Lou Harris. And this one is just in beautiful shape. Still got the shrink on it. Original inner sleeve. All right. I do see a couple minor surface marks. Nothing tremendously huge here. There you go. And my goal here uh, is simple. I want you to get this record in your possession and I want you to yeah, well, I know you're going to be unsure. I mean, I would be too if I was ordering used from, uh, you know, any internet company, really. I mean, you never know what you're going to get. And if you've been doing this for any length of time, you've probably been burned. I get it. So my goal is for you to get this uh, in your possession and just be amazed at the, the quality and never want to order anywhere else again. So my secret's out. Reba McIntyre, Best of Reba. Love that uh, that album cover. Uh, what's it got on it here? Can't even get the blues. It's got You Lift Me Up. No future in this. Let's take, take a look at the vinyl. Again. Glossy black. Nothing I can see here. Looks unplayed. A lot of times, too, this one here, like it doesn't have any spindle marks. You can tell, even if it's near mid, if it's got a spindle mark, that means that it's been on the turntable, uh, likely played, um, yet the owner was very, very careful with the record. So there's Reba for you. All right, next up on our list, love him or hate him, David Allen Co. Uh, this one, as you can see, great condition. Got the old 498 price tag on it. Boom, nice price sticker. Uh, I'm not sure what I've got it on the uh, website for. It's not $4.98, but it's affordable. Check it out. Links in the description there for you. That was side one and side two. Just nothing. Super clean. Super clean. 
greatest hits. Let's see here. Willie Whalen and me, long-haired redneck, never even called me by my name. If you like Co, you like that song. <clears throat> and uh, interesting fact about David Allen Co, first uh, first person to perform Tennessee Whiskey, uh, the Chris Stapleton song that everybody's going crazy about. It was uh, the guy who wrote it. I don't. E I can't even tell you. Uh, David Allen Co performed it. Then George Jones, then Chris Stapleton. So there you go. <coughs> A lot of you probably knew that. Some of you may not have. Some may not have cared. <laughs> okay, Kenny Rogers. Check it out. Seven twenty-seven was the uh, old school price tag again. We got the shrink. It's coming off a little, but we try to preserve as much as possible. Um, We've got your uh, your hype sticker there, very important. And then, of course, nice back cover there. Uh, the reason that I like this record, personally, is because uh, Scratch Bastard actually has done a, a routine with this record, DJ routine. There's a nice drum break on uh, You Turn Me On, and... He uses it and does a really, really good job of flipping that track. So if you can find that on the internet, I recommend you watch it. Check him out. If you didn't know, I'm a turntablist too, so I, I'm i a fan of those guys. Um, Kenny Rogers, in great shape. And here's another one. Johnny Cash, walk the line. I walk the line. All these are vintage copies too. I'm not going to tell you their first presses, but they are older pressings. This one especially, that's on the 2i Columbia there. There are a couple surface marks on this. If I were to grade it, it would be a VG plus still. Uh, but there are a couple marks here. You may not be able to see them in the video, but they're present. So it's still going to play through. If it makes any kind of surface noise, it's not going to be much. I'll tell you that. So there you go. I walked the line. What else does it have on it? Folsom Prison Blues. That's on there. Wreck of the, Wreck of the Old 97. And, uh, Understand your man. I think those are the biggest hits, though, that uh, that I already mentioned. Um, next up, Mo Bandy. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Greatest hits. Can't beat it. To be honest, I I really have not been a huge Mo Bandy fan in my life. Not saying anything bad about him. Just never felt the need to get into his catalog up to this point. As you can see, really great shape. Sound like a broken record on that. My woman loves the devil out of me. It was always so easy to find an unhappy woman. I cheated me right out of you. I may start having to listen to Mo Bandy. Good stuff on there. I believe, I don't know if he had his own theater. It, it makes me think he did, but I don't know for sure. Did Mo Bandy have his own theater in Branson at one time? Uh, I feel like I have I heard Mo Bandy theater, but I can't remember. I know we got Shoji, we got uh, Andy Williams had a theater there. Um, let's see, Roy Clark. Did he have a theater there? I thought he did. Um, who else? Ooh, ooh, voice cracked on that one. Johnny Cash, greatest on Sun. Is that not wild? Now it does have a couple surface marks. I love that Sun label. 
Man, have you taken the tour at Sun Studios? I've done it, I've been fortunate enough to do it a couple times and it's so cool. Um, I think we got a guy here from Springfield. Um, I'm sure there's been several, but the most recent that I uh, have heard of reporting at Sun Studio would be Calvin Todd, I think is his last name, Casual Cal, he's a country guy. Um, I believe he's a steel guitar player. Um, pretty cool dude. And how about some Johnny Paycheck? Take this job and shove it. That's about all I see on TikTok. <laughs> oh, man. Here's that for you. If you're unhappy with your job, there's other songs on here, but if you're unhappy with your job, my advice would be to keep grinding, start a side hustle, and work that side hustle. Start a side hu hustle that you're passionate about and work that side hustle until it becomes bigger than your job. And then quit that job that you hate. It's got the old uh, tagger on it there from Kmart. All right. Willie and Family Live. I just love this cover. Makes me happy. Look at that inside gatefold on that one. And on this one, just notice the condition of the actual outer sleeve itself. You know, I, I pride myself on condition on both the record itself and the outer sleeve. I care about both in my collection. Why wouldn't you? <coughs> So, beautiful, beautiful, <coughs> excuse me on the coffin there, let's go record number two. They're both really good <clears throat> on that Columbia label there. Boom. How about Honeysuckle Rose? soundtrack still in shrink wrap with the hype sticker on the road again of course man same story Kind of disappointed we can't see that gatefold, but if you buy it, it's up to you. Boom. Another clean, clean record there. It's that Duraflex. It, it kind of felt like it was warpy, but it's just the the vinyl it's made out of. Really thin back then. Okay, now we're going to do something weird. I hope you're ready. Something I thought about. Um, it's a giveaway. So let me take this drink of water. Don't go anywhere. Um, first of all, this isn't a giveaway, but if you see that poster right here, 
the spider poster. I'm going to be selling those. I've got a bunch of them and uh, I'm going to be selling them for Halloween and I'm going to go 10 bucks a piece. They're from 1996. They're original vintage spider posters. Um, 10 bucks a piece here at the store, uh, 215 West Olive in Springfield, Missouri. Um, and five bucks a piece with a $25 purchase limit one per customer. I, I have a lot, but I, I don't know if I have enough. So, um, if you want one of those, stop by our shop. Unfortunately, I'm unable to ship them because they, you, uh, USPS has made that just outrageously expensive and, and doesn't make sense anymore. So I apologize. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I got a box of old school garbage pail kids. And if I pull out your name and you order from this video, you're going to get a garbage pail kid with your record. <laughs> and this one's just hilarious. Pulled it out randomly. Dale Snail. Dale Snail. If your name is Dale and you like country music and you want to order from this video, I'm going to see it come through. I'm going to know it came through this video. Now I got to give you, I'm going to give you a week. Okay. We can't just be giving away Dale's forever. So if, if nobody named Dale claims their garbage pail kid, it's going back in the box. Um, but I got a bunch of them. So Dale, when your order comes through, man, I got you. And I'm going to put it in a top loader. Even I'm going to make it, make it nice and clean for you. So free garbage pail kid. If your name is Dale, well, let's move on here. Another classic country, uh, record here. Roger Miller, golden hits. You know the hits, Dang Me, uh, King of the Road, and you had a do whack a do. My friend Joe's got a shirt that says, what would Roger Miller do whack a do? What would he? I don't know. He'd probably spin this record because it's so clean. Check it out. Definitely VG+. Plus. No question. Couple little like paper scuffy things right here, but man, they won't cause you a bit of trouble. Guarantee it. Gene Autry is coming up next. 15 all time greatest. In case you're wondering where we are in the stack, we've only got a few left. Got one more surprise for you before the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Really cool cover, still in shrink. Original price tag on it. Boom. How about that? No surface marks whatsoever. <clears throat> no spindle marks. Beautiful record. All on the website. All you got to do to find them on the website, <clears throat> just type them in in the uh, search bar. Um, that should bring you to the super search. And then you can even go to the country slash folk tab and uh, look basically through everything I've shown you and more. Uh, this certainly isn't everything we have. Uh, this is just a drop. Very best of Hank Williams. Beautiful cover. Solid cover. Solid condition. This one, of course, got Cheatin' Heart, Jambalaya, Love Sick Blues, Hey Good Looking, So Lonesome I Could Cry. Man, look at that. All right there.
and how about that Don Williams 20 greatest hits let's take a look at this one now this is a double LP plastic liners on the inside which I'm not a huge fan of but that's true to the original so that's what I'm sticking to and again nice and clean and that was actually side what side three and side four And so side one and side two is right here. I got that side too. Felt warpy again, but it, it's not. It's weird. Messing with me. And yeah, I see no surface marks, no spindle marks. It's in great shape. Looks like a uh, club edition, perhaps. Yep, BMG. If you still owe them money, I won't tell. Let's see if I can get it back. This is why I hate plastic sleeves, y'all. Here we go. Plus, when you're cleaning a record, now you should make sure it's dry anyway, but plastic sleeves, you have to make sure they're bone dry before you put that record back in there. If you've ever pulled a record out of a plastic sleeve with all kinds of weird designs on it, that's because somebody put it in there wet. So now you know if you didn't. Classic Willie Nelson, Stardust. Great record. Just a cool dude all around, Willie Nelson. On that Columbia label and what's your favorite Willie album he's got about a, a thousand of them redheaded stranger is probably the most popular that that we've experienced Georgia on my mind unchained melody Sunny Side of the Street, Stardust, of course, Blue Skies. If you feel like uh, hitting the subscribe button, I'm all for it. If not, no big deal. Look at that. We got the uh, Troublemaker. And what does this say? It's got Final Mix by Mickey Raphael and Ben Talent. Little hype sticker there. On that same Columbia label, it does have, this one does have a mark. Can we even see it on the video? Just a little mark. I don't think you can. That's how insignificant these are, but I still want you to see it if you can. And there's that for you. If you like this video too, share it with somebody else who collects vinyl maybe. And uh, you know, it's probably good to go to sleep too as well. Nerd out on vinyl, that's some stuff I do. I got some channels I watch when I'm trying to go to sleep. Just leave it on, let that whole heavy heads list play for you. Willie and Waylon, WW2 because they did another one before this. Again, beautiful shape, no spindle marks. That's near mint, guys. That's near mint. Now, if you thought, see, if you order this record, look at that, look at that sleeve, too. You order this record, you're thinking, ah, oh, it's from a record shop, it's you know, a little small town place. It's probably going to be in okay shape, but I'm not expecting much. Then you get that in the mail. Hopefully after that moment, 
I'm not going to say you're only going to shop with us, but hopefully after that moment, you'll definitely consider it. So we got one more. Hank Bocephus Williams Jr. One Night Stands. Look at that record. Regular inner sleeve. This is on a Warner label. Can you see it? There we go. Nice and clean. Fiji Plus. We've also been told that our our VG Plus looks a lot like other people's near mint. So I try to keep it at least on that line. So that's it, guys. Um, I appreciate you watching the video, first of all, and uh, there will be more. We don't just sell country, so don't worry about that. Um, I've got a classic rock stack ready to go for another drop so be looking out for that you can subscribe to this channel all of our socials listed down below in the description please check out the website that's where you're going to find all these records um, last but not least uh, this is going to be very very uncreative but hey I don't care uh, if you've made it this far in the video I'm dropping a coupon code for you all right um, to make it simple it's going to be a 15% off coupon uh, overall on the website. Um, it's going to be CNTRY15. CNTRY15. And that's going to get you 15% off of anything on our website uh, just for checking out this video, just for making it this far in the video. Um, feel free to share the coupon code or just keep it to yourself because you watch the whole thing. So again, thank you for checking out the video. Please check out my others. I've got all kinds of different other stuff in it and they're not all salesy either. So, um, we really love what we do. We like connecting with, uh, other people, uh, that are into music, that are into the culture, that are into shows, that are into everything. This is my life. So Thank you once again. Please subscribe. Check out the other videos. Have a great day.